Welcome to Scrambled Brains. No, so, so and we get like '90s on nine and lithium yeah. and stuff like that. And the offspring comes on. It was an offspring song that like eh, it's not very good. And I was like, and she's like, "Well, man, why did everybody ever like the offspring?" I was like, most people know like you know keep them separated mm-hmm. and self esteem. And then I'm like, who the fuck am I kidding? And they the all walla. know pretty fly for a white yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. in the walla. I like you know. I like. I've got three or four of their albums. I really enjoy. Yeah, I've never been a big offspring guy. Tilt that up more in front of your mouth. Been a little quiet lately. Yeah, yeah. No said I don't think I've ever. Oh, am I quiet? I'd ever say it. nobody. Did, ha- nobody did, has did, accused you guys hear me about the the technical death of Playboy. Yeah, yeah I've heard yeah, that. Kind of. Well, wait. They're, they're not going to do nudes to... anymore. Right. Right. What okay. The... Well, we should do this. Wait, well, what? All right, yeah, yeah, we, we are recording. Oh, oh, we are. Oh, we are? Okay. okay. All right. Well, all right. Then let's go. Why didn't you tell me? I was waiting for. I wouldn't have confessed to all those murders. Uh, I, I didn't turn it on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, that, I mean, I'm joking. All right, what episode mm. is this? Uh, 105. Five. Man, why am I always one behind? We're back to the base five numbers, yep. which seem significant. I don't know how. Well, you didn't put any significance on 100. No. no. So, But now you're going to put 105 as sig- somehow significant? Everything that's that's base five. There uh-huh. you go. So when we get to, like, 115, well, no way. Yeah, 110, 10, 115, 15. 120. Okay. Yeah. All right, whatever. It's pretty easy. Anyway, let's let's start this bitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> Welcome to Scramble Brains Wordcast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Powell. I'm Will Runyon Jr. And it's episode 105, Base 5, yeah. bum, bum, bum. which is important. Feel the base. Ace of base. Uh, which I, there was a whole article about how they were all Nazis, but I don't think really? they really were. The oh, Ace you mean they like? Yeah, alien, like one of the, like, the one of the guys from Ace of Base was like in a like skinhead German Nazi band or something at one point. Oh. And who the but then they're like, "Oh no!" But Ace of Base is still a Nazi band. I'm like, so okay, whatever. Well, they're all they're they very, failed they're miserably at it. Blonde haired, blue eyed. Mm-hmm. Like I could see maybe they were like well, they're Nazi Swedish. Youth, uh, no, thing. they're they're second. Big U.S. album failed in Israel. Their first one was big. Oh, the sign. The sign was huge. Do you know the yeah, sign I mean, wasn't even on the original Swedish version? No. They added that for the American version. Oh, well, there you go. I was on a uh, bus camping trip thing with a bunch of people from around the world one time, <laughs> and uh, there were these two Swedish girls, and uh, they did they somehow... look like the girls from Ace of Base because girls from Ace of Base were hot. Well, yes, they were. yeah, they were pretty attractive, but. Uh, uh, I think we we're, you know, the the bus driver had like his MP3 player, you know, busting out the jams, and I believe. What an year Ace was of this with an MP3 player? Uh, it was like 2005. And they were busting out Ace of Base. It, I think it came in the ro- around in the rotation, or or somebody mentioned them, or I don't remember exactly how, but they got on the subject. The Swedish girls were so excited to talk about Ace of Base. <laughs> it was uh, it was really. Were you like, yeah, I love Ace of Base. That was the best uh, band ever. Uh, Come here, Swedish girls. Bjork, no, no. Bjork, 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 they weren't talking to me about Ace of Base. Oh, I just thought well. it was interesting. They were like, I mean, I guess they're too I young been for like, ABBA. Yeah, I yeah. love Ace of Base. Um. <laughs> I- Ikea is great. Is that well, Swedish? What was that in the night? Was it, oh, it was the Swedish <laughs> yeah, bikini team or whatever. What was that? For? Oh, yeah. Like a for everything. Like, that yeah. was, a, that was like one of the everything. obsessions of the 90s. Yeah. Swedish I love the team. Swedish chef. Or 80s. 80s, right? Well, Did you say it, 90s or 80s? I remember, I 90s, I remember so the Australian fascination in the 80s. Um, you know, we got Yahoo Serious, Paul Hogan. Oh, oh, God. And oh. everything was Australian. It was... Yeah. Yeah, and I'm it, sure like, Outback every Steakhouse kid, started in every kid in fourth grade wanted to go to Australia. <laughs> Why? And like drive a, and they were all obsessed with Vipers, Dodge Vipers. No, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have you been to Australia? Yes. Yeah, see, I knew he see. had. That's actually where this story took place. The, oh, okay. Oh, oh, see, 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 it all oh, comes around. I, just, I didn't yeah. want to, you know, you know. It's a big, big circle. Well, boys, I hate to bring us up, and we do start with the death. This is kind of a death. Why not, do we not, not always start? No, not quite. No, this is a solemn time, though. It is for the most part, the death of gateway porn. Oh. Playboy has announced that it will no longer be doing nudes in its magazine. It will be totally articles. <laughs> so so when I say all. I read Playboy for the articles, I'm not going to be lying for once? <laughs> Apparently, they got the idea because, I guess, about a year or so ago, they took it off of the website and you know it went Nobody up. Did, 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 their <laughs> subscribers went up after they took the I nudity guess so. off? I mean, honestly, and it's one of those, the printed page, you know, it's the death of the printed page, because, I, I mean, keep saying that, but 
I don't. I, with with Playboy, I can see. Yeah, because, Playboy, I understand. Yeah, because I mean, the internet was built on porn. Let's be honest; I that's mean, what it was built for. Like so many technologies, before I think it. exactly. I think I'm always yeah. going to be able to find Pride and Prejudice in a leather bound bookstore someplace. Yeah, somehow I don't think. Twenty you can years from now, find... I'm going to be able to see a woman fuck a horse in a pages of a magazine. <laughs> Actually, yeah. and on the internet, you could find Pride and Prejudice performed by people dressed in leather. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. This is a, a cool store, though. Um, in a house I I take care of, I spray uh, in pest control. Uh, this guy does have. <laughs> yeah, that's well, I have. I have to yeah. say that. Somebody's out there just thinking you're pissing on him, pulls on yeah, his house. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I uh, my job. I'm in people's homes. Uh, one of them in regularly as a robber. This guy robber. has eighties. Was it late eighties, early nineties Rolling Stones magazines? Mm-hmm. Oh wow! And late sixties, early seventies Playboys. Hmm. Just out. Just so the out. Bush era. Yeah, literally Bush era. But, I mean, but like, I I I will say I, full I, Bush, I flipped through a couple. Mm-hmm. What was really cool? Not it's the ads. You know, when you've got like mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Get, 12, sure. get 12 sure. albums yeah. for a nickel, and it's like Cat Stevens, <laughs> and, so, and you're like, whoa. Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> but he does have the one where uh, they they uh, actually, it was like the first, uh, where uh, they opened up the Playboy Mansion. Huh. Where it's like, welcome to, you know, our new mm-hmm. estate, and blah, 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 because it used to be in Chicago. It was a penthouse. Hmm. Before uh, Hugh Hefner's girlfriends were born. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them. Actually, before. The, the, Probably the, before their mothers were born. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't See, touch the water. Yeah. Stay out of the. Yeah, I got it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink the water in the gourd. The, the guado. In the, the grotto. grotto. In the grotto. <laughs> oh, how many diseases do I have? <laughs> Yeah, really, just soaking that and balls about fall off, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, uh, I bet uh, they have to have, like, standby inoculation kits next to the pool. <laughs> yeah. How much did you drink? <laughs> well, you giving know, you Epicac. <laughs> you know how they've got the, uh, like, at Walmart, you walk in, they've got the hand sanitizer. They got those in showers. Yeah, <laughs> right. they just they shower you with it. <laughs> Or like I, a like a radiation. You know, I would hate to be Hugh Hefner's pool guy. I'm just saying. I'm like, <laughs> damn it, this filter's clogged again. Ooh, <laughs> blam! We don't even clean them. We just the rubber glove, just throw them away. And it's like, like the stuff. You remember that movie, The Stuff? Yeah. That's, no, but you that's mentioned you this find. before. Yeah. The stuff. That, that's yeah. what you find in the filter over there. <laughs> People who are familiar with that movie. Generations see, uh, and gener. I've, I've thrown away so many generations of kids. <laughs> I want to see. It's like Doc Brown taking the plutonium out of the DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, we just had uh, Back to the Future Day this week. Oh, no. Oh, it's I, isn't it October 21st? It's the 21st. Oh, I thought it was the 15th. No, no it's, it's October 21st. 21st. Oh, okay. October 21st, 2015. Oh, okay. Well, why in the hell is TBS that. doing a marathon of the future I, movies? Now, are we sure there's not, like, two scenes where they go to 2015 twice or something once? Maybe. They go to 2015 twice, but I think it's the same day. Oh, okay, because... Well, well no, it's... no, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think Biff goes to 2015. He goes back in time and then comes back to 2015. So I'm wondering mm. if there's, like, we two We watched these movies, guys, earlier that, this year. That someone's getting them confused, you know? Yeah. Cause yeah, I've heard this numerous times, but uh, October twenty first, twenty fifteen. I think that's exactly. Yeah, that's what they've been saying on the internet. The internet can't be wrong. The internet doesn't lie to you. Well, oh, they've even got a com- commercial now for that Pepsi Perfect. Oh, it's, yeah. It's the, yeah, I would totally buy it if there wasn't like twenty dollars a can. It's a bottle, a bottle, a bottle whatever. Is, yeah. Although I want to be like you know, because he couldn't figure out how to open it. Remember, no. He's yeah, like trying to figure out how yeah. to open it. Is it? And I, yeah, did the, anyone ever, it's, is it like it has like a little straw? Yeah, like it has like a little straw that pops top? up yeah. because you see some other people drinking them in the cafe 80s, but mm-hmm. Marty never figured out how to open it because, you know. You think that's in when, the cafe 80s they'd either have cans, bottles. Right. You know, well, no, it's like any other nostalgia sugar. thing. They still sell the current day stuff. stuff yeah. yeah. You know, because he was trying to open it and then that was when Griff came up. He's like, hey, fly! <laughs> Well, Matt, a uh, new Gamera movie. Yeah, yeah I saw uh, some of this. So what is this? Is this like coming off of the recent Godzilla? Or well, is this, this is Japanese. I okay. Mean, it's yeah, no, it's just, Japanese. Okay. Well, they're going to make I another Godzilla headline. movie, too. I didn't yeah. know what it was. So. But Gamera is, he is like non-Toho. <laughs> Yeah, it's like another company's like, hey, we can do that, too. <laughs> and so they made a giant can, um, giant turtle. 
I am French. Why was that person French? No, no. Yeah. Well, if I'd got to some R's, you would have told. Uh, totally what no, was it? Asian. I, I was watching a, a Ray, video. Ray, roll you ruin. No, the, the, that's terrible. They I'm were sorry. covering <laughs> the the Gamera movies. Sorry, even it's like let's out. be honest. Gamera loves children and the world. He don't give a fuck about anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't yeah. like monsters. He doesn't well, like no, monsters, but right? I mean, yeah, he'll fight the monsters, but he'll yeah. just destroy the shit out of anything just yeah. as well. He's like Superman. He eats fire. Gamera eats <laughs> fire. And he sucks in all his limbs, and then fire shoots out the holes, and he flies that By way. By spinning. He spins, yeah. Yeah. So. There's a great scene where, like, um, what is it? it? Which one was it? Where he, like, cuts up a dude. Like, there's a giant <laughs> knife-headed monster. Oh, with the, the blade. For yeah. The You're thinking of like, Pacific Rim. Somehow, yeah, I almost think it was inspired by... Oh, I'm sure. And he, like, cuts up a... Uh, no, the knife-headed monster, Gamera doesn't do it. The knife-headed monster cuts up cuts up Gai- Gaios, which is like a flying... He's basically the chief knockoff Rodan. Uh-oh. And he sits there and just chops the dude up into, like, slices. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty fucking boss. <laughs> uh, they're talking about after the... the uh, I guess there's going to be a Godzilla sequel, uh, King Kong, what, what's it called, Skull oh, Island? Yeah. yeah. There will be a King Kong versus Godzilla. Again. In 2020. Yeah. So so are they going to upsize... They're going to have to make Godzilla ba- or King Kong bigger. Or, like, meet him in the middle, one gets shot. No, the I son think of they'll... Godzilla, who's small still. Yeah, I mean, Poor something daughter. like that, like a younger... No, 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 because even the small, the smallest Godzilla's ever been... He still would only come up to, like, Godzilla's cross. I want to see Daughter of Godzilla fight King Kong, but then they reconcile their differences and fall in love. Oh, do they have sex? Yeah. And have, you know, lizard ape babies. Oh, gross. <laughs> so, so in your mind, which one's the bitch? Well. King Kong. <laughs> King Kong. Yeah. Kong's All right. Yeah. But he said the daughter of Godzilla, but I still think. King Kong's a bitch. Yeah, well, <laughs> the daughter of Godzilla makes King Kong her bitch. Yeah, there I think go. so. She's on top, always. Yeah. <laughs> and other yeah, monkey Godzilla news. just kicks King Kong's ass, right? I mean, how is that even No, it's fight? not even a contest. It's, yeah. I, I, I wish I could have American pride and say, no, King Kong, no. no. There ain't no fucking way. Yeah, he does have maybe a little better agility. Maybe I mean, maybe that's but how they... Godzilla they... has atomic breath. Do you know in the <laughs> original Godzilla versus King Kong was supposed to be Frankenstein? Frankenstein. And so King Kong has electric powers. <laughs> because he was supposed to be Frankenstein. They just didn't change the script. Uh, yeah. How many corpses did it take? <laughs> yeah. To make that well, I think what happened was is they made Frankenstein and then Frankenstein grew. Oh. oh. Which reminds me that uh, if you guys have seen that new trailer uh called Victor Frankenstein. I've not seen no. that. That looks good. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. Was this supposed to be one of the ones in Universal like rebooted? I don't, no, I don't think Universal so. I don't think monsters. it's a universal. They keep trying to do that. They they were like, Ah, oh, we're gonna do it with the Wolfman and then they didn't yeah. do it. They kept talking like, Oh, we're gonna do it with Dracula yeah. Untold and then uh, anyway, not gonna yeah. do it. Yeah, they were, <laughs> Well, no, they were supposed to they they weren't gonna do it and then I guess they changed their mind with Dracula Untold. It's supposed to it's fit It's supposed into to fit it. in, so yeah, Luke somehow. Evans is Dracula, because yeah. actually I think He's pretty good as Dracula. Yeah, it was a good movie. Uh, speaking of monkey news, they are they monkey have started news. filming on uh, uh, War of the Planet. Of the Apes. Oh yes, oh, yeah, I'm that. looking forward to this because these Planet of the Apes movies have all been pretty boss. Actually, yeah. they've done a very they've good job. Gotten with better even. Yeah, I know. I can't wait second. to see the third one. They're doing good. They're doing good work, even yeah. without James Franco. Oh, actually, God. especially Maybe without James Franco. Franco. <laughs> right. God. And uh, well, who did they? They, who was? Oh yeah, Gary Oldman. I, I'm trying to think. Yeah, who Gary was in Oldman this was recently. in that last one, and then the chick from Felicity was in there. Oh right. And then the weird kid that was in uh, Let Me In, the American version of in. Let the Right One In. That I don't think I've seen the there. American version. I've just seen the. No. And I've he gave the, the apes with, a copy um, of Eight Ball, the what? comic, the indie yeah. comic Eight Ball. He that's what he gave the apes as reading material. Oh yeah, yeah that's which right. Which is a great representation. Yeah, that's I didn't know the comic. Yeah, that kid. Yeah. Who was in that uh, that remake with uh, uh, Chloe? Whatever. Grace Moretz. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Hit Girl. Hit Girl. Among and and Carrie. And Carrie. What that's, else have I not... seen her in? She was in something else. Oh, she was in Dark Shadows, that poor girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dark Shadows was terrible. Mm. Yes. Oh, it was so bad. <laughs> I'm just about depthed out. I can't take any more Johnny Depp. Well, I think I've mentioned this on this podcast before, but there's a new Pirates well, movie coming out. I heard Whoa. that uh, that recent uh, non-Burton uh, yeah, the, the one um, where he played a gangster. Yeah, the again, it's good. Oh, um, it's supposed to be really good. Yeah, well, uh, well, I've heard. Black, I think of what it, yeah, Black Mass. Black Mass. Black Mass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Well, that yeah, maybe it's maybe it's the combination of Burton and Depp that I yeah, don't like. Yeah, they, yeah, they've kind of burned out. The but I don't. Chemistry. The Pirates movies have burned me too. Oh, yeah. I like the first one, but I haven't think I don't think I've liked one since. That first one was good, and I'm like, oh, that was great. And then everyone after that has sucked ass. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of sucking ass, no. <laughs> wow, you got a sucking ass segue? That'd be great. Ah, uh, gross. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what sucks ass. Let's talk about the Fantastic Four. I want to talk okay. about the Fantastic oh, Four. Oh, yeah. So okay. this was like because almost... Well, I, I was going to go to Fox. <laughs> well, that, that works yeah. out. Let's do that. Yeah. Because I want to talk about that because that's a good segue. Sucking uh, ass is this. That's because what I was going to get They threw this out to us that... There was a rumor yep. that Fox had given the Fantastic Four back to Marvel. And they'd given it in exchange for the television rights to the X-Men because they're doing X television. They're doing the Hellfire Club. Really? Yes. So, and that made 60s. sense. I... They got rid of a property that's hemorrhaging money to invest in expanding a brand that is making money. Yes. This make, that, that totally made sense. Absolutely. But then they come out and go, no, that's not what's happening. Both Fox and Marvel. Yeah, that's have con- but I think they also denied that Sony and uh, Marvel were in talks to bring Spider Man over. Too. Yeah, they, they denied, denied that, that, and it turned out that was all true. So yeah, but uh, Moon Knight on Netflix. Mm-hmm. So is that'll be that tech- beyond rumor stage yet. Yeah, uh, that yeah, Moon Knight. I mean, this is great. I'm I mean, just it's... waiting for the Ghost Rider show too. Yeah, <laughs> because they're taking all oh, the good yeah. these great Street characters. Level. Yes. Yeah. Oh man. With now well, we got Daredevil, and Blade Punisher. would fit right in too. Oh yeah, Blade, Blade. Yeah, it'd Blade. be terrific. If, it'd be yeah. terrific if they. I don't really want them to do another Blade movie with Leslie Snipes. I want them to start over. Yeah, yeah. and do another. Do start yeah. Blade from the beginning, the not show, Blade's daughter, please. Oh god, like the, what they're doing right now. The, the, the Blade comments. show wasn't horrible. It just. Oh yeah, I the, forgot the, the actor. There was a Blade yeah. show for one season. Yeah, it, it just the guy playing Blade just couldn't really sell it. No, I, mean, I just really want. The, yeah, and I think was it Kirk Cameron? No. My gosh. <laughs> so, but I like what this is the thing. I think I don't. I think they should give up on this. Like shows on ABC, like Agents of Shield, and then they're gonna do this Mockingbird show. Just give up on that because uh, they don't excel. Marvel TV does not excel minute. trying to make it for TD. Okay, Mockingbird. No, okay, that's yeah, a it's check not off Canary. Show. No, 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 no. Yeah, they're okay. doing a spinoff with her. Well, they're talking about. Well, isn't her power it. like a a, son, a screen? No, she doesn't have She has no powers. Oh, okay. She's like well, Hawkeye. actually, she does now. Oh well, whatever. Because technically, you know, she was she was the kind of the Batman of the group. She's just really kick ass oh, secret agent. Nightwing. Okay. Yeah, I got got Stone. totally got really jacked up. And the only way to save her life. Was to give her a mix of the Super Soldier Serum and the Infinity Serum. Wow! The Infinity Serum is what keeps uh, uh, Nicholas Fury young. young all this time. Oh! So now she's like a immortal badass Captain America type. You know, she's stronger, I'm faster. Okay. I'm okay with that actually. So who decided that she? How much of this serum is there? I thought the Super <laughs> Serum. I kind of would. Who, you who know made what? That call? I, if but, they but don't want to give me that serum, I do. Perfect physical perfection and immortality. Uh, thank you. Here's how Except Marvel you still have jacked scars things up. Oh. It doesn't fix your eye either. Because uh, Nick mm-hmm. Fury went through the whole... What it was was, I guess, Hot Guy was still the guy to, to make the call if she got it or not. Mm-hmm. Oh. And it was one of those, but you know you're condemning, condemning her just to watch everyone else die. You know, it's a bitch to sit and watch all your loved ones, you know, grow old and pass and while you're... Okay. So, so you're going to give it up, Mr. Fury? Well, a few months later, turns out there never was an inf- an infinity formula. Nick Fury's an old-ass man, and it's just a life model decoy. All the times you've seen him where he's younger oh was a life model. Oh, Dum Dum Dugan, for the last 60 years, has been a life model decoy. <laughs> and he didn't even know it. Wait, what's Fucking his character? Marvel. Mockingbird, okay. Yeah, Mockingbird. Yeah, they just jacked it all. So um, anyway, <laughs> speaking of Agents of Shield, yep. I actually have been enjoying I don't this like season so not. far. I I think it's the best season so far. I think they. But I'm going to tell you what, Daredevil is exactly what I wanted from Marvel television. And there right. is a they they did put the and uh, Jessica Jones looks like it's going to be more of the same. So excuse me, they did put the uh, Comic Con uh, trailer up. And you do get a sneak peek at like Electra. I've seen, yeah, because it's mostly oh, yeah. it's mostly footage from season one. But, but then, then right at the end, end yeah. they show you Electra and Punisher. Oh right, yeah, 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 so. yeah, right. I watched that and I was like, I thought this was supposed to have some oh, stuff yeah. in it. Yeah, it's right that at I the end. Before. So. Yeah, that's right. 
So they fooled everybody. It's like, this is just shit I've already seen. Click, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, at first yeah. I thought I was looking at, like, in a trailer from last year. You it know, did look like, like that, yeah. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? I but I'm just, you know, I, this division, whoever's doing the Netflix stuff, they know what they're doing. Yeah. They know yeah. exactly what they were doing. Well, they can do it more. Is, it is I a mean. perfect balance to the big budget spectacle movies, this street level, grittier, mm-hmm. you know, superheroes like Daredevil. It's yeah. great. It's great. Okay. It is such a good dichotom- dichotomy balance. It's just yeah. fantastic. I love it. And this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. crap with its glossy finish, but they can't have too glossy a finish because it's on television. It's a television budget. It just doesn't work for me. So now what yeah. they need to do is just get uh, Civil War out of the way, mm-hmm. get the first Spider-Man film out of the way. Oh, yeah. And then do a Spider-Man show. Oh, it lo- <laughs> I wanted them to do a Spider-Man show. <laughs> I wanted them to do a Spider-Man show instead of a movie because I think they could tell better stories. Well, way. they can do the smaller stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have to fight the world, you know, ending guys. Right. Uh, speaking of Daredevil, Rosario Dawson. Uh, you got, it's one of those you got to read the story. Mm, Rosario Dawson. The, the, the headline was Rosario Dawson as Batgirl. Yes. So you're like, all right, so in Batman versus Superman, he's older, his time's passed, so everyone's grown up probably. So I can see her in... No, it's for uh, the Lego Batman movie. She oh. voices Batgirl. Okay. Who's doing Robin? I, Somebody's famous is doing Robin in that, too. Oh, I missed it. I forget. Who knows? Because it's yeah. Will Arnett as uh, Batman, Yeah, right I didn't now. read the article, so I was looking forward to hearing Matt's <laughs> melt, mind melt when he heard that Rosario Dawson was going to play Batgirl. She's kicking high. Oh, no, that was <laughs> Avengers. So. That's, it just <laughs> so reminds me of... My kid watches Teen Titans Go sometimes, yeah. and they, they sneak into the Batcave when Robin has to cave sit for Batman, and Starfire puts on the Batgirl outfit. And it's all skin and, tight. And, and, and Robin's like, take that off! And she's like, I can't. It is too tight. And he's just like, ugh, 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 ugh. <laughs> <He's drooling. laughs> oh, And I thought that was so funny. Uh, last night was uh, the Robot Chicken DC Special 3. Oh, I missed it. I've got it if you need it. <laughs> It that you was, got completely legally, right? Oh yeah, okay. I, it's on my uh, my. You recorded uh, on my, your DVD my hopper. Yeah, yes, there we go. There, that's hopper, how we did it. Yes, hopper. okay, all right. Yeah. Yes. But uh, it was, if if it was Ash right. and the versus the Evil Dead ends up on your hopper too, that'd be great. But it, it did. also Doctor Who. I'm waiting on. <laughs> well, as soon as I can find on my hopper a decent way to, <laughs> to, to mess with the first, I've got. Give me some. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I, you know the um, FTC is just like, look at these clever bastards. <laughs> <laughs> they fooled us again. But, um, uh, God, Burt Ward and... Uh, Adam Burt, West. Adam West is on it, hmm. which is funny because what it is is Burt... It's, it's a multiverse story at the end. Burt Ward kidnaps Robin, takes a dead Adam West Batman to the Lazarus pit, because it de-ages you, mm-hmm. brings you back, and then he becomes Robin again and steals Robin's outfit. What so the yeah. fuck? This happens in what? Lego Batman? No, this was uh, oh, Robot, the robot chicken. chicken. Oh, that's right. I forgot we were even talking about that. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about the hopper. Right. But it had some good stuff on it. Yeah, Batman uses the cosmic treadmill to bring over... Because it, it's technically... Wait, uh, Batman uses the yeah. cosmic treadmill? <laughs> it, it's technically he's tired of uh, Superman's, oh, yeah, you don't have any power shit. Because it's like, oh, yes, by the way, you know, let's, or, you know they're having a meeting, and uh, Green Arrow goes, hey, who's this guy? And it's this guy in just a, a, a denim jacket. He goes, oh, that's that's guy with a rock. <laughs> he goes, wait, wait, guy with a rock? He goes, yeah. He goes, guy with a rock, show me your powers. He just pulls out a rock and goes, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and throws rock. Yeah, he's just like, you know, doing comic with a rock. He's like, and Batman goes, hey, wait a minute. Is this another one of your hilarious jokes about how I don't have any powers? He goes, no, it's not all about you. GL's a, a or a Green Arrow's a, a, a non-powered muggle, too. <laughs> non-powered muggle. <laughs> He's like, all right. I just remember the, 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 the preview for this where it's like Batman showing Robin the kill list. Yeah. And he gets to Robin and he's like, what's mine say, Batman? And he, there's nothing in it. And he yeah. just smacks him. <laughs> and he starts crying. Yeah. <laughs> Batman's got the, the files for all the Justice League how to kill him. Hmm. And Robin's is empty. He goes, yeah. where's mine empty? He goes, well, let's, let's go get something to eat. He goes, no, I want to know. What's your big plan if I turn evil? He just goes, smack. <laughs> he starts crying. He goes, I quit, I quit. <laughs> yeah, so something funny. like that. <laughs> because it's yeah. Robin. But it is good. It's it's a decent. Oh, um, uh, Sex Luthor is back. The band. 
Um, remember his band? I don't remember. It, it's oh, Sex to Men comics? now. Yeah. No, it was in Robot it Chicken. It was in the Robot oh. Chicken. He had long yeah. hair. He had like a metal band when he was young. Yeah, was so long. I, I lost barely all remember hair. that. Hmm. But uh, friend of the I'm night, not sure uh, that's canon. Is that no, no, I, no. None of the stuff but in it's Robot like, Chicken it, it, is but canon. But this is all the multiverse. So it's bald Lex. It's like Silver Age Lex Luthor, Silver Age Power Suit Lex Luthor, Luthor with hair, and that's Pez Luthor. <laughs> it's just head on. So wait, it's the Luthor who's mad at Superman because he made all his hair fall out. That Lex yeah. Luthor. Yeah. Is the does the Luthor the Pez that comes out is that made of kryptonite? No, no, oh, it's just Pez. Great. That's Pez disappointing. Luthor. Disappointing. What about Gene Hackman? That's a that missed would be opportunity. Oh. <laughs> and Kevin Spacey. What about Jesse Eisenberg? Like, uh, kind of getting ahead of that one. <laughs> um, mm. Walking Dead last night. Yeah. Uh, Didn't watch it. Oh wow, that was last night, man. Oh, did you not watch it? Day. No, no, it's just no been yeah, long I day. did. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, finally, I like been waiting for something like this to happen for like Uh-oh. four seasons. Oh, I'm excited, like for for a change, you know. Oh wow, oh. he's excited. <laughs> I really enjoyed the episode. It was. Uh, well, this was this was almost. It sucks. It was a uh, see Rick told you so. He said this was. Well, gonna of course, happen. Rick's always right. But of course, Rick's not around to gloat in yeah. this episode. They all go off to do the whole zombie herding thing. Oh, yeah. That we talked about last yeah. week. Well, while they're doing that. They're herding them right into <laughs> a camp of innocent people. Yeah. But while they're Possibly. doing that, the that. town gets raided. And these people, uh, these these crazies hop the fence. And they're not there to steal shit. They're there just to hack people up and kill them. Why? We That's don't, a good question. Uh, yeah, they they, they capture kinda, one guy for know. a moment and he goes, we're freeing you. Technically, yeah. I think it's it's kind of like in the vein, the world doesn't belong to the living anymore. Yeah, he so actually said yeah. something like, uh, So why don't, don't they just kill all anymore. themselves like a heaven? Well, because yeah. first they got to kill everybody else first. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, I but can't it leave it. makes total sense. Yeah. 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 They're, they're nuts. Episode. They're all crazy. But it yeah, it was a good episode. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm excited where I think it's, I don't know where, you know, hard to say what they're going to do, you know, uh, as compared to the comics, but this could be leading to some very, very some interesting. Well, we stuff, already know like Nagin's that. coming, right? Yeah. So, so sooner uh, or later, Nagin's going to show. Yeah, up. I don't know what you guys are talking about. He's a bad guy. He's okay. like the new governor, but uh, much different. Yeah. He's okay. Now, now more stuff that that uh, Matt won't know about. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, Matt might pick this up now. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. What is uh, it? Uh, Flash. Last no, week. No, no, I watched Flash. Okay. Did you pick up? The the Easter egg in the, um, what do they call the plant plate? The um, Star Labs? Star Labs? No, not Star oh, the plant where, place. The, where the guy was staying, the, the sand guy was staying, uh, in the moisture, the, the garden. Not, not the, Sandman. Not uh, the garden. What uh, do they call man. it? Botanical. What? Yeah. Botanical gardens? No, what do they um, call it? What do they call a store that's it's oh, all... Like, fl- uh, yeah, you know what I'm greenhouse. A greenhouse. There we like go. Get a greenhouse. Because greenhouse. he's got to stay moist. I remember that. All right. right. He needs to be wet. Now they they all zoomed the in a little bit on some of the boxes. Is this oh, sand? I didn't even look, so oh, I don't know. I missed him. The it. box says oh, Woodrow. Woodrow is the plant master, the floric man. Oh, the, and it's a greenhouse. It's a greenhouse. He's wow. he's kind of like an evil swamp thing in a way in the DC universe. He starts off as a scientist. He's like a male poison right. ivy. Well, after uh, after the crisis, uh, post crisis DC, he's the one that gave Pamela Isley her power. Oh, that makes sense. He I was like the, it when they tie he, that. Shit he was together. the who John Glover played in Batman and Robin, the That's, creepy oh, the guy yeah, who helped create yeah, Bane, yeah. the guy she killed. Wasn't it the guy she killed? Well, she killed. He killed her first. But and wow, then she comes back and kills him. I if you come back from the dead, I don't really think it counts. Yeah, right. So. But uh, so that was a nice little Easter egg that they threw out there. You reminded me up. Now all I can think of was bomb. <laughs> no, because Bane just walks around putting bombs down. No. But it was a good episode. I'm, I, I yeah, yeah, I like, I like okay, the Flash. They introduced this new character. I'm assuming she's probably from the comics, right? The uh, Barry's new girlfriend. Yeah, she's or whatever. She's. When the they, cop, yeah, yeah. yeah. The cop. When well, they I got actually like of... the character. I, I was like waiting. I mean, I'm assuming I was waiting for her to turn evil. Yes, because no. she's so she's a stalker basically for the first half of the episode. Uh, she's completely obsessed and uh, single minded. I liked and, how Barry wouldn't but... trust Jay. Yeah, because he was because oh, of that Wells. Yeah. And yeah, okay, that was interesting. First off, the girl. I like that. <laughs> the girl uh, Patty. Learn to trust him. Patty. What was her name? 
But anyway, what it was is when they redid the new 52, you know, Superman's not married to Lois, Barry's not married to Iris, so they had to give him a love interest. It can't be Iris. We can't hook those up because they've been together forever. We've got so to give him So they gave him Carly another... Cooper. Oh, sorry. I'm wrong. <laughs> wrong, yeah. Wrong universe. And this was the, you know, the, the stand-in for I thought they had good chemistry. Yeah, because they're both nerds. And I, I missed the joke where they're both behind the two-way glass and they say something in yes, unison. the I Holy re- Grail. Uh, it was yeah. A, it was a uh, Monty Python. Yeah, they were oh, a Monty Python reference. I, I got it. I probably wrote it down. <laughs> Because I was like, "Hey, wow!" I know that's I. I can't remember what it was though. I don't you remember. Know. Oh crap! But I do. I recognized it as Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Because <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, you know, I mean, that's not really pop culture anymore. I don't think. Well, it, apparently kinda... for them, that's how nerdish they yeah, are. I appreciate it. So. It was something like the questions they were talking about. The questions, like right. Yeah. What is your favorite color? <laughs> yeah, that was a great moment. I thought that really felt natural between them. That's like what oh, I'm yeah. talking about, about the chemistry. Like, they really actually... And I haven't really felt there's, like, much chemistry between the characters in the <laughs> show, generally. the rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop thinking the Monty Python now. Yes. Pull the pin at three. There it is, the rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> no, but he... <laughs> <laughs> you twit! <laughs> I'll kill you. But um, oh my gosh, he wouldn't just write. Well, at least now you know why Professor Stein is so uh, <laughs> yeah, was so stiff in his. You know, you always talk about when this guy gives you know Whoa, talking scientific talking jargon because he because so he was building up to an aneurysm apparently. Yeah, <laughs> I guess yeah yeah he actually he, his line readings were better. In this you know, episode. this is pissing me off though. What's that? This is a false thing. Okay. We know. We know Ronnie comes back because they're in Legends of Tomorrow. We don't know. We hold up. Know, hold up. Hold we up. know Ray Palmer comes back. He's in Legends of Tomorrow. We don't know if it's Ronnie. All right. We haven't seen it He's be some Ronnie. Flaming guy. You know, it could be the really Jason Rush Firestorm. I guess maybe. So, but uh, speaking of all that, but we if you know Doctor Stein's not going to die though. Is what uh, I'm they're setting no. up uh, the return of. Of the canary, apparently. Yeah, for Legends Possibly. of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow. See, that's why we know and it has to take place. That's not after. how the Lazarus Pit works, mm, people. Man. I'm sorry. It has never worked. It can't it resurrect ne- someone that's been dead for a year? No, it can't. It well, never then how has. are we going to get Jerome back as the Joker? Because that's what has to <laughs> fucking happen. <laughs> they don't even have Lazarus Pit. Yeah, I know we're not yet. to Gotham yet. <laughs> no, not there yet, but. Okay, well, I guess are we gonna go to Arrow now? We kind of well, started real quick. Arrow. Jay, I like the actor. Oh, plays yeah, Jay. Jay Garrick was great. I like. I really liked him. Uh, I, I started to think, you know, he's not old enough. He's not seasoned enough yet. But if you remember, everything in the fl- this Flash universe has taken place ten years before it's supposed to well, happen. Well, he said he'd been the Flash for two years. Yeah, but you see, by which the which is t- longer than Barry's been the Flash. Yeah, but what it is, if you remember, uh, Thawn said. In in twenty twenty something, you're going to build a particle accelerator. I need it to happen a little sooner than that. Oh, so we so sped he, up the timeline. So we sped up the timeline, and now and, and, everything's happening. And faster he's hitting than on s- Caitlin Snow. Yep, mm-hmm. who's going to become Killer Frost? I eventually. know. So I wonder what's going on with that. So, and Cisco's starting to show he has powers. Yeah, they showed that last season. He's getting, but weird he's showing too. it more. Yeah, this year season. Like last time, They're it's like, well, maybe it's because oh, this happened. You know, it's just a side effect of that. But no, it's clearly him yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, the one. Thing oh, he I... even said. He even said. Sometimes I get a His vibe. vibe. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Now Which I did the point out the that Matt he's going to become if yes. you that if you're I got the it. Whenever <laughs> they talk the about, uh, I was betrayed by Wells and I trusted Wells. They know it wasn't Wells. Yeah, this is true. He changed in front of him to Thawn at the right. end. So it's like when Lois found out Clark was Superman, she didn't keep calling him Superman. It was from there on it was Clark. Or oh, yeah. Barry. Well, so <laughs> why would he keep calling him Wells? He should say Thawne. Yeah. And I think what it's building up to is because, spoilers, at the end of this episode, we see the Earth 2 Harrison Wells. Yeah, we do. And yeah, the first yeah. thing we're going to think is he's an evil bastard and he's probably Zoom. Mm-hmm. But this is not Thawne. Yeah. You know, this is like, I, and I, I can see Barry just beating his shit out yeah. of me. Like, I got, no, I don't have superpowers. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. Don't hurt me no more. This really hurts. Please stop uh, hitting me. Well, and speaking of uh, them, like, having issues with uh, but, uh, secret identities versus actual identities and that sort of thing, yeah. um, do you notice the part in the police station? I believe it was Iris and her dad and. You know, they're just kind of walking through the police station, talking and loudly talking about Barry. About Barry's the, the Flash, <laughs> and how is the Flash? How is Barry as the Flash going to save the day this time? <laughs> yeah. like, just, like, they should just cut to a guy like sitting at his desk reading papers, and he goes, 
Hey! <laughs> Fairies of Flash! Right. Did you hear they, that? Fairies they're of Flash! not very good at being subtle. No. No, they're not. But good thing the rest of the police are stupid there. Yeah. yeah apparently so. That, yeah. So. And, yeah. So Gotham. Yep. Or are we talking Arrow? Um, well, can... I, I had a little arrow to touch on. You know, we could stay DC. For, well, oh, yeah, wait. Let, well, I mean, Gotham is DC. Well, I mean, I, this DC, uh, CWDC, CWDC. Arrow, we got our, uh, we got anarchy, kind of like the kind the of. origin of anarchy. I'm not satisfied with that origin. Uh, that anarchy sucks. Well, like anarchy I, in the comics was actually what was it, like twelve, thirteen year old kid, yeah. and what he would do. See, I don't know anarchy. Okay, he would wear a costume where it was like the shoulders and a, a huge head. So he looked like an adult, um, and it had like just a well, it was a gold face, you know. It looked like Buckethead, actually. If you guys know Buckethead, yeah. the guitar player, yeah, it kind of did. And uh, you know, it turned out just to be a super the guy intelligent that wore the KFC bucket on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the and the like weird like you Mannequin get it, you get it at uh, like Joanne Fabrics. It's just like a white, yeah, plastic like. Uh, yeah, just a nondescript. Yeah. Almost, uh, actually, it almost looks like a Michael Myers mask. But yeah, it's just, uh, I, oh no, just you can just face. go down to like any craft store and buy those. It's, yeah. yeah, which is a William Shatner mask, of course. Yeah, painted white. Yeah. So does William Shatner get? Uh, I don't revenue know. from uh, Michael Myers masks. I wonder if Michael Myers ran into William Shatner on a killing spree, would he get confused? No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, can't kill myself. Uh, I'm seeing double. I'm sure. I'm sure. Myers. If Rob Zombie was in charge, there'd be a whole three-hour backstory <laughs> on how he used to watch Star Trek and was traumatized by it. Yeah. We're gonna see every fucking minion of it. <laughs> All right, where were we? Oh uh, yeah, Arrow. Um, we where, did see. And he kills a classmate with a Mego doll or something. Uh, more Damien Dark. We yeah. saw more. You know, more or less trying to you know stopping people from running for mayor to where they're too scared to run. Right. Is Penguin going to run? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's know. how. Um, and then, okay, so, like, one of the main conflicts that they keep returning to is um, now Speedy, uh, you know, uh, Arrow's sister. Yeah. After, now Arrow's that she's, hot sister. Yeah. Now that she's uh, come out of the Lazarus pit, she's all, like, well, and she was trained as an assassin. Because so that's yeah. exactly yeah. how the Lazarus pit works. Uh, well, no, no. <laughs> I know. It's, a, a, it's oh. a pet cemetery kind of thing where, you know, when they come back, they're not the same, and they're probably evil. Yeah, so she goes thing. nuts when she's fighting people. and you Yeah. Know, Sometimes so this, dad's better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's like that seems to be like a uh, that's going to be an arc through the season. Yeah. Is Arrow and her fighting about her. You being think he's going to have to kill her again? Bit violent. Well, I they're going so. to now. Okay, first off, uh, the Black Canary Laurel says, "Oh no, all me and her's going for like a spa. That we're going to go off. We're going to work on her anger issues." Oliver leaves the room. Says, "Fuck that. We're going to Nama Parbet." She goes, well, do you think that will cure me? And she was like, fuck you, I ain't caring. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. taking my sister. <laughs> yeah, but the, Well, but where I was going with that oh. was that um, I guess it's just because it's her, his sister, right? He doesn't actually care about people, that, about them killing people, because Diggle's just shooting people all the time. Well, I'm sure it's a taser or something. Have they established that? Cause Does, is Diggle think... using his magnetic powers yet? Uh, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not even a full mask. It's like a, it's like a kid's Halloween mask where it's only like the, the like, front half. <laughs> like, we got to cut costs, so we're only going to make the front part, and you can put an elastic band around the back. It's about yeah. what it is. All right. They did introduce made, uh, big old mask made by Ben Cooper. They did introduce uh, uh, Holt in this, Mister Terrific. Oh. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Not Moss, and of course, once again, they for no reason whatsoever had to make Michael Holt, Holt gay. For no, it was a throwaway line. He is getting oh, fired, and he's my, like, "Well, my 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 husband, my, my husband has been wanting to go on a trip, and now we'll have time to go." It's like, "Oh, that for, was Arrow, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah." For no reason whatsoever, they threw that in. So he's like the uh, the Morgan Freeman character of uh, the Arrow because universe. it's kind of. the CW from the that's why. Christopher Nolan Batman. Yeah, what's that guy's name? Mar uh, Michael Holt. Holt. No, no, the the Morgan uh, Freeman Fox. version. Uh, Lucius Fox. Lucius, Lucius Fox. Yeah. yeah, which is in Gotham. He will be returning to oh, Gotham. Right. Yeah, he is in Gotham. Yeah. Yeah. So. Which is a segue of course. to Gotham. Oh, Gotham. Let's go. Let's go there. I like this episode of Gotham. There was a lot less Barbara in it. <laughs> I like evil. I'll say it again. I like evil Barbara better than I don't like Barbara. Barbara at all. And more Penguin, which I love Penguin. Yes. Penguin's awesome. Actually, some mm -hmm. interesting stuff with Penguin. I have not, I'm not the biggest fan, but I actually enjoyed I, this take on him. I'm calling yeah. it right now. Penguin's killing this guy. 
Oh yeah, oh, this dude, to, man. He penguin is killing him. Yeah, oh. it's got to get her. Well, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll fill in yeah. backstory later, but just for right now, uh, fuck Kevin Smith. I'll, I'll fill that in. Later. Well, uh, what? <laughs> no, just in general, it's a, yeah, it's a good it's, rule of thumb. I'm gonna listen to uh, uh, ba- <laughs> Fat Man on Batman later this week, and he was like, "Hey, fuck you, Nick Pal." Uh, that would be brilliant if yeah, that happened. It, it, well, here's real quick. Uh, introduced this last week was Silver St. Cloud. Yes. Okay. She was at one time just one of Batman's throwaway. You know, she was a Vicky Vale type. You know. Might I add that the way they use Silver St. Cloud is like Poontang bait for Bruce Wayne. Yeah. To join up with. Under I age, still don't even teenage, know this yeah. this guy's name. He's already killed the Joker, the best character on the whole show, and I yeah. still don't know this guy's name. He still looks like old, ugly Joseph Gordon-Levitt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, Kevin Smith and. Um, Walt Flanagan. Walt Flanagan. Oh, get a series. About Concophony or Concophony. the Whitening Gyre or whatever. Yeah, one it there was. was supposed to be like a three parter. And they did the first part and then the second part ran, ran real late. The, the second part ended on a cliffhanger where uh, St. Cloud and Bruce have gotten so together that technically he's going to ask her to marry him. Oh, Alfred right. is so happy. Every, it's, it's like, oh, the, Bruce is finally still happy kind of shit. Well, during this, he I'm meets, sure nothing will, break, will yeah, ruin this, Master Wayne. He meets another vigilante crime fighter in Gotham, and throughout the series, this guy earns his trust. So he actually bad brings idea. him down to the Batcave. Really bad idea. And because that worked so much, yeah. so well last time that he had another guy that was going to take over the Batman. You know, Only brought Batman, the you know, has his back to him talking. He turns around, and it turns out this new vigilante guy was an assassin that Batman knows. That's been paid to kill the Batman, and he's slit in St. Cloud's throat. <laughs> oh, so he kills her right there, huh? Okay, so that was the wow. end of the second part. It's you supposed know, to go DC, to a third part. That was when DC was going to reboot to the New 52. No, so no, no. Like, what happened? Well, that was well before the New 52. Yeah. Kevin Smith took so goddamn fucking long to write it that DC rebooted to the New 52 and didn't care anymore. <laughs> They're like, we don't care. If yeah, they told him to do whatever he wanted. Yeah, it's... It, you know, we're, it, it doesn't fit in what we're doing now. And it's like, son of a... But I was making yoga hosers. It's a great excuse. Yeah. Or moose jaws. Yeah. Or, no, it was probably oh, Tusk or something Did you see time. that he was on uh, He was on the Talking Dead last yeah, night? Yeah, I saw that. And uh, he was wearing a moose jaws shirt. Oh, it was. That. Well, he better just get Started to promotion. making Mallrats 2. He keeps promising to make Mallrats 2, but he also kept promising to make Clerks 3. And yeah. that hasn't shot one frame of film, so... Yeah. I'll tell you what, fuck Kevin Smith, too, because <laughs> he killed Mysterio. Yeah? He had Mysterio kill himself, and nobody said, hey, don't kill Mysterio. He's one of the Sinister Six. He's a core Spider-Man villain. We might use him again. No. They just let him blow his well, brains out. And Black Cat's a rape victim now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's thanks to Kevin Smith. It's, it's cause of Kevin I don't S- want him near my comics. I want him to write Clerks 3 yeah. and direct Clerks 3 and Mallrats 2. I want him to do that. I want him to stay away from my Spider-Man. Kevin Smith's the reason, and I don't know if they do this with all TV personality, because there was another guy, I can't remember, he, he, he wrote Lost, and he was supposed to do this Hulk Wolverine oh, um, comic that who just did got Lost? so um, many years behind. I don't know the writer's name. But uh, mm, at one point... I they, know it, but it's lost to me. I think, <laughs> it, I think it was Green Arrow. Kevin Smith wanted to reboot Green Arrow. Yeah. Boo. And they more or less told him, before we print anything from you, we want you to have like six to nine issues in the bank. <laughs> so that way, if for some yeah, reason... Yeah, because he's notorious for yeah, not Yeah, you, you get like two issues in and then have to go film a fucking, you know, go do shoot a fucking movie that will will be safe. And... He never could do it. He could never get six. And he stayed with Green Arrow for a while, and it was monthly. Well, see, he wrote Batman Meets the Green Hornet, or Batman 66 Meets the Green Hornet, but... It turned out that, no, he didn't really write that. They let him put his name on it. So, uh, so it would sell. But the other guy, Ralph Garman, actually is the one that wrote it. Well, he was doing the Bonic Man, and I don't know how well that turned out. But anyway. But uh, apparently, uh, oh, well, Batman 66 meets the Green Hornet went over very well. Okay. But Kevin Smith had very little we'll to do, do with, with it. it. Other um, than getting the other guy the job because he was his friend. I, I did miss Gotham last week. Did they they hint on the the court of owls anymore? Did they a little on? bit, but not much. Okay, but I'll, we know that's what's coming. Yeah, 
I want to say that uh, Michael Chiklis, I felt like, kicked ass. Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah he he was great. It. He came in as the boss, and you can tell Gordon loves him. I, yeah, me <laughs> well, too. He seemed like and a hard went, ass. And they went and got, like, a new – they went – directly to the recruits so they wouldn't get any that were already corrupted and put together like a task force <laughs> straight, straight out of the straight academy, out of the academy of before they'd been bribed and their families had been threatened and stuff in Gotham so that they would know they had them and like they took on Zaz Zaz was see what's happening is this guy uh the guy oh, what is his name I can't even remember his name Whatever but he's the, a court yeah. owls guy he's going to yeah. be the guy oh, bringing he? the court owls he's got to be yeah um, he's, got a he's to gonna him. run for mayor but so he's having them kill off – he's basically kidnapped the penguin's mom to get the penguin to do his dirty work for him and kill these other candidates. And uh, the penguin says Zaz after one of them, and he actually kills one of them himself. Right, apparently um, that – and, well, they sh that was first. And I, I actually, I wish they would have done that in reverse because, like, penguin goes and kills this person, this mayoral candidate – just in walks into the place and you know kills. It's like <laughs> who's not going to recognize that guy or like his. Well, he did have a mask or... on, and he, they told him, "We know who you are, so don't say." Right. But one of them, they're, did. they're just trying so to get him got a funny walk. Yeah, and but like Gordon, like, like, <laughs> 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 exactly, yeah, the cigarette on the uh, the holder. He came in in a giant umbrella. rubber duck. It was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That and, does seem like something would come off the 60s Batman. You just go, okay, boy, and just pull a stocking over his face. No, never no. Rose. But, uh, and then, yeah, and then, but then Zaz, like, fails to kill. Yeah, uh, yeah. Zaz so, failed, which is so crazy. It would have made more sense if, like, there was a thing where it's like, well, you screwed it up. I guess I'm going to have to do it myself, you know. I, that would have been more satisfying. But yeah, I was so, just like, why did he? But why would he do that? It's great because Gordon like recognizes. He's like, oh, it's Penguin. And he goes to the Penguin, and the Penguin's like, he's like, not now. <laughs> and he's like, no. And he pushes it. And he's like, you know what? I got yeah. you doing this, this. You're working. You killed a guy. He's like, I got all this shit on you. So don't be fucking putting the, the screws on me. <laughs> yeah, actually, like, yeah. I thought I this loved was it. The I was like, best yeah, you go, Penguin. Like, yeah. <laughs> And then also, uh, I uh, we we got some more uh, Riddler. Uh, oh yeah, in, in this yeah. Thing. His Riddler sides doing. Uh, did, he, did he bet her? No, uh, he got close. They smooched. Well, actually, I guess maybe it cut away. Like she was ready know. to leave. I don't know. She may He's have ended up girl. staying. But then she caught him uh, talking to himself too. Right, you know? and and he said he slipped up and said something that really freaked her out. And then she kind of just. Yeah, Forgot something like it, it wasn't it something that that indicated he knew about the death of her. Well, boyfriend yeah, or he's well, I'm glad she's dead. He's dead, and he's yeah. like, no, he left town. He's like, well, dead to you, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. You know, and it's like, yeah. So I don't. I'm thinking this other personality is going to take over, and that's the Riddler. Yeah. But you know what? I want the Riddler to do more riddles. He's not doing riddles anymore. No, right. He's crazy. But he's not doing riddles. Well, you could say he's saving him up. The that card one. that he gave her, it uh, the shame moi. Like that's almost kind of a, it was. It's you know my house. My house, it, yes, it, with the address on it. That it's almost riddly. <laughs> it's riddly. Kind, not really. If you knew French, it's not a riddle. Right. Yeah. It's like it's like try to try to figure out my crazy riddle. It says Mikasa. <laughs> You can figure that out. You're a worthy foe. Right. Well, you know, he didn't want to, like, confuse her. He just, uh, it, it was just, it wasn't straightforward. Well, he's, he's making you know? inroads with the girl, which yes. is nice. Yeah. Well, and and almost certainly temporary, of course. Oh, no, temporary, because yeah. that's. He's going to end up killing her, probably. Because I think they're setting up stuff that's going to cause or some Bruce of these villains to come, become <laughs> from, you know. Normal criminals to super criminals. Oh, yeah. Well, right. they can't do it too early. You don't want the riddle around. I think for 10 years. I I I'm calling it now. I think Penguin's mom dies. Oh yeah, and I think, I think he so. goes fucking ape shit nut, and he yeah. starts embracing. Well, he's already embracing the penguin. Yes, because he yeah. shows up and he's like Mr. Cobblepot, and he's like Penguin. He goes, I thought you didn't like that name. It's like it's growing on me. Right. He develops the eating disorder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> I can't um, take a skinny penguin. I don't know what he did. I think he's fine. Well, I, I know. And it he is. was almost like when he had the bowler. If he'd had a top hat and he's walking in in that <laughs> overcoat with that limp, and I'm like, holy crap, he's looking more and more like the penguin every day. Uh, I wanted to say earlier, you were talking about Batman versus Superman, or Superman versus Batman, whatever it is. Yeah, Dawn um, of Justice. Yeah. And how it's like old Batman versus young Superman. Mm -hmm. So. It's like Gotham, they're doing the reverse, like all the villains are, are well, I guess neither one of them are old. It's it's old everybody versus young Batman. 
Yeah, like, unless you're a girl, he can have sex with. Then you're the cis age. Then, then you're, yeah, you're his age. Yeah. Roughly. Well, I'm like sure. Poison Ivy and Catwoman. All these guys are what early mid twenties. Most of them, I'd mm. say. So in ten years, you know, they'll be mid thirties. He'll be early twenties when he's Batman. Yeah. Oh, that's Alfred why he can kick smacked, their ass uh, so Catwoman easy. around too. Oh yeah. Oh, I, my son loved that. Apparently, he <laughs> thought it was great. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Alfred was pissed because yeah, because she killed his Alfred buddy. Alfred is so fucking badass. <laughs> yeah, he's still. The he's best. like, hey, yeah. you're an underage girl. I don't fucking care. You killed my friend. Walla. <laughs> <laughs> Upside the fucking head. And you're a thief. He's so and a, tough. You know, bad influence on Bruce. I can't believe I just said he was tough for smacking a girl. But I mean, like, <laughs> little it's like girl. I don't even care. I don't. Yeah. I mean, he. I think it. Literally. I think if she would pushed him, he would have throttled and killed her right there. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You're going. Well, I can't believe he hit a small child. And she this is the it. child that, that pushed a man to his death. It's been stealing shit left in her eyes. She's working with the Court of Owls guy yeah. at one point, like the guy who's trying to take over the city. But they don't know that yet. I mean, you know, she's not a good person. And Bruce is like, <laughs> you're pretty, I like you. <laughs> right. But now he's got a different pretty Yeah, girl now right. he's got. Now oh, he can. Now yeah. when Selena finally needs something and tries to smooch oh, up yeah, to yeah, that's Bruce, gonna, he can just push her away. Right. Yeah, she's going to be pissed. I've got Moonchild over here. She's yep. my new thing. Yeah, I know. With her walking through that. <laughs> hey, it was so stuffy and sad. I love it oh. out here in the park. <laughs> no, this is what. The, the joke didn't go. And speaking of hookups. This Look joke up. didn't go over well with my wife because she knows too much, so it wasn't as much fun. And I said, guess who the new power couple is in uh, in the comics? Recently, it was Superman and Wonder Woman, and they've broken up. What about Power oh. Man and Power Woman? No. Oh, they're still, married. They're they have still a kid. married, and they got oh, a kid. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. But no, Captain America and Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Look on your face is great. No. Well, I had to think about that for a second. No, my, like I said... I. I was waiting for hey, my Thor, wife. See if you can pick this up. <laughs> I was waiting for my wife to have the same look Will just had, <laughs> but she's like, "No, I pretty much guessed it was yeah. the female Thor." Yeah, it's a chick Thor, and it's the uh, the Sam Wilson Captain America. Okay, so so what happens when the real Thor shows back up? He's like, "Verily, Jane, I am back," and she's like. Once you go black, you never go back. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think. But I am go- a God. <laughs> Okay, so the new Thor is Jane, like the Jane uh, Foster. Jane Foster. Yeah. Okay, the Natalie, Natalie Portman, Portman is Thor. She, she's dying of uh, cancer, so and she her... became Thor to survive. For well, it's longer. like her body. It's one of those that's killing her. Her body can't take the transformations. Why doesn't she just stay Thor all the time? It's I don't know. It's it's sort of like one of those things. Why isn't Adam just stay He Man? Because then his Adam body would starve and die. Uh, what? What? No, that's what it was. It was a. Uh, it was a funny thing. It was. Um, what was it? It was a Captain Captain Marvel uh, kind of a thing for Savage Dragon called Mighty Man. Mm-hmm. And this it was the same Captain Marvel, but he'd like slap his wrists together and become, no, the kid would become the man. Mm-hmm. The problem was he couldn't stay a man too long because his boy body was somewhere like in limbo. Oh, really? And it would starve to death if he didn't, you know, change Yeah, that's not the way He-Man works. But he would die. Because there's a, they were going to do a series uh, after the new adventures of He Man in the nineties, where Extra he just like was like, "Fuck adventures. it, guess what? I'm Adam and I'm He Man. I'm staying He Man forever. I have the power, and now I am King He Man." And now, of course, you know when they said, "Hey, when Adam said he had a secret and he was coming out, I thought something totally yeah. different." <laughs> so, but the the sword grants him the power. If he loses the sword, does he become Adam again? Like, no, if he loses. He actually has to the take sword? the. He has. He has. To, to raise the sword again into the air and say, let the power return. Oh. You oh, just yeah. never see that part. So, yeah, why would you ever you do have, that? It is in one episode of He-Man. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's like, that's work, you know? It's like, I might as well just stay He-Man. No I don't shit. I Yeah. Give him the power back. The the moment I raised that sword and went by the power of Grayskull, you'd never hear those words again. <laughs> I'm like, I have the power and I'm staying this way because <laughs> this is fucking boss. Yeah, look right. at this. Look at this. I have a cowardly cat that pisses in the floor all the time. If I shoot him with this magic sword, he's a badass tiger covered in armor. <laughs> of course, he's got to eat like a whole herd of deer to care. survive. But yeah. Look, I'll just be like, ride him out into the into the field and like, they're only battle cat. They're be uh, deer. Eat. And he just runs out there and tears them apart, and I just sit back and watch. Well, that's what you just have them eat Beast Man and Bee Man oh, and yeah. Yeah. Like, all the 
B Man is actually Buzz Off, and he's on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's really? Yeah. Buzz Off's a good guy. guy. No, Buzz Off's a good Pinterest, guy. He's got Pinterest, doesn't he? Yeah, yes, Pinterest he does. Ask Lee Clawful. Or <laughs> yeah. Clawful. yeah, they remold used Clawful's mold, who's a bad guy. He's a crab. Uh, yeah. He's got the red Pinterest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does Buzz Off have blue or yellow? He's brown. Brown, he's brown, and, brown yellow. and yellow. But his Pinterest, what color are those? Brown. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> real quick, Dino Riders is going to Oh, be yeah. Here. This is awesome. I mean, with Jurassic World, let's say what what could be better than dinosaurs? With I mean, freaking laser beams yeah, on their head. I got an idea. <laughs> We're going to put machine guns all over dinosaurs. That's what Dino Riders was. It was about these aliens that, like, went through a time vortex. I don't know if they were humans from the future or what, but they went... Went through a time vortex, crashed on prehistoric Earth, and weaponized the dinosaurs. That, and yeah. basically, like, took their technology and put gigantic weapons all over dinosaurs. And like, the good guys could telepathically communicate with the dinosaurs, but the bad guys had to put like brain boxes on them <laughs> to control them. But the it's, it was awesome. Didn't That's, they ever read a Sound of Thunder? Uh, no, man, they fucked up the whole future because these dinosaurs are walking. I mean, they got gigantic lasers and chainsaws and shit on them. <laughs> and I can understand Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles was huge. Mm-hmm. You know, Transformers, monstrous. G.I. Joe. But but Dino Riders was one of those, even when it was out, kids was going, what? I yeah. bought it, Dino Riders. It, it I love Dino like Riders. A, like Inhumans. So oh, I love the Inhumans yeah, too, but not everybody knew Inhumans. I don't not everybody even remember knows. the Dino Riders at all. Oh, no, yeah, I my do. I had, had some. I had the T Rex. I had the Triceratops. I had the Velociraptor. I had. Oddly enough, these are ones he, he doesn't. He's got shit that he had from like two from Star Wars. Mm-hmm. It's like, where's your Dino Riders? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Where my well, <laughs> here is the problem with Dino Riders: is the dinosaurs were really good. The toys. They were very strong and sturdy and stood the oh, test the, of time. The armor that you strapped to them was brittle as fuck <laughs> and broke if you looked at it wrong. It was made out of, like, sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it came with little pieces that would come off and you would lose immediately. I, I'm waiting for, like, the, the air raiders. I'm oh, my gosh. I remember air raiders. Movie. <laughs> you mean, like, the power like for of air. fish tanks? No. Like those no. little things, they bubble? And... <laughs> That's an air raider. That's really raider. exciting. Not a raider, or like the Oakland Raiders. Raiders. Yeah. They were like little figures, and they came with bases that had like pumps. Yeah. They'd pump sh- it, and they would shoot the missiles using or the, air or power. The, huh. the, or the, or the, yeah, the, the vehicles would, or something. Shoot across the floor. Some of the plastic pump things were big. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh. Yeah. The only reason I liked, I had a couple of those, was because the guys were the exact same size of the, the Transformer Headmasters, and I oh. just used them as Nebulons. Oh, really? Yeah. I, yeah, they were tiny. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, they were. I just said, they're Nebulons. There you go. Hmm. And you could get these big-ass vehicles for, like, I had the one, it was like some sort of weird sand skiff thing oh, yeah. that they all piled into, and it would, like, go across the sand, and you could push down on the, they had this, like, crow's nest that you'd push down, and that would shoot the missiles. It was really cool. So. And they all had big air bladders inside of them. <laughs> air bladders. You, know, you should look them up. They're, yeah, yeah, they right. they what, didn't last very long. Was, there was something else that had a little bitty guys like that. Micro Machines. Um, oh, uh, no. Star Command. That might have been Star what Star Command was, well, that was awesome, too, because they were all like, um, that you would pull it back and you would push a button and it would go, bzz, it was all spring-loaded oh. and it would, bzz, and like... You'd have like a cargo container that would not change into like a moon rover, or like. <laughs> or how about a uh, pick stuff oh, up? Star Command was awesome. Visionaries. Oh, I remember Visionaries. Visionaries would be cool. They the had power holograms. holograms. Yes, oh. when, like late eighties oh, when, when they had a hologram on their chest and they had yeah. a big staff with a hologram on it. Were they like monster faces? No, like, there was another. Oh, okay. There was another line that was like that too. That I had. Oh. Some, I remember there was one. It, it was like a skeleton face, but it, you put like a regular face on it. Yeah, and if you took it off. It would or something yeah. like because I had yeah, a there knight. There was monsters. It was a knight, and the whole chest piece had come off, and there was a hologram yeah. underneath. Yeah, the monster. yeah. Right. What was that called? I, I remember. remember. There was that a bunch of them cool. that were that, like full figure, but then you put like a cloak over. Them with arms, yeah, yeah, I do remember that too, yeah, because they were little guys and they were creepy. They reminded <laughs> yeah. me of like those little guys in Phantasm that would run around <laughs> and take it, that's what they look like. I don't, I remember, right. oh, what was that line called? and I remember that uh, the hologram of the guy that I had, it was like a rotting corpse skeleton, it wasn't just like a oh, yeah, like they got it was graphic, a, yeah, what was the, the 80s? Had, you can like, do that flesh kind of hanging off of it, so uh. All right, I just want to throw a little uh, yep. news out there. Uh, oh, like, um, 
I guess I've got one kind of weird news. Uh, did you guys hear about the eight? Potentially alien megastructures orbiting a, a I did a hear about star. this. That it's something that would have formed naturally, but it didn't have enough time to form. Well, possibly. I don't know. What I've heard is that it's uh, it's so uniform, apparently, and it's blocking so much of this star's light, it doesn't seem like it could have occurred in nature. It, it's I guess weird. They said that possibly it could be a bunch of comets that are like have been attracted yeah, to this star so, over time. But that's so, like, how could but, it randomly have done that? Right. Yeah, they're saying that it actually, it's like this Dyson, I think they call it a Dyson sphere? formation. Yeah, Dyson sphere is yeah. what it seems like it that could happened. be. That was in Star Trek. They can't actually see it yet. They can only detect that this star is, like, there's like 80% of the light from the star is being blocked. And that doesn't happen in nature. By, like, yeah, with because any, it would like, be an orbit. Something would be in or... orbit and it would move. Yeah. Right. Although this is scaring the shit out of me because this alien civilization clearly more advanced than we are. <laughs> yeah. they're doing right. This. Well, the whole idea behind a Dyson sphere, that it's like a theoretical thing wherein the it's it, what the reason that uh, the idea was that if a civilization got so advanced, it would have to harness all the energy possible from its sun. To so they sustain its civilization. Yeah, they built a so it, it's around. basically building a like an, an enclosed a thing that encloses the sun and harnesses all the energy and From they the could use it. You know, wow. so that would be the purpose of a Dyson sphere. So that would be a very advanced civilization. Uh, but they don't know what it is at all. But they are actually studying it. There are like real scientists who think this may be a like alien thing structure <laughs> wow yeah it's pretty crazy i'd say like man said, made, i'm a little I'm, I'm a little scared made. to meet these guys if they're out because this is crazy what they're trying to accomplish if they're doing this yeah. well, sooner or later they're gonna need another star <laughs> and yeah but well yeah. i'll tell you what if they bring me like this the the key to immortality uh vitality eternal youth and uh sex robots <laughs> fuck you can have my son <laughs> I'll be cold. Just give me some sex robots to keep me warm. <laughs> well, no, I mean, if they want to build stuff and harness power from this, as long as they don't, you know. Yeah. You know. Uh, and, and other tech news. Um, I like, I thought I had erased our website. Uh, oh. And my website, my per I thought I had destroyed everything <laughs> last week. Uh, for this about is, 40 minutes. And we're just now hearing about this. <laughs> yeah, it was a... It was I, a didn't, I didn't have the heart to tell you guys, like, everything's gone, and I'm not going to be able to put this one up, but I right. thought you guys would be mad at me. Yeah, no, no, it. I recovered it, but it, there was a period of, of panic. Uh, I just screwed something up. Uh, the You know, the blog platform thing, it's all database-based, and mm -hmm. I, had, I like, changed the setting, and I didn't realize what I'd done. And so it was all still there. It just wasn't linking up. Yeah, anymore. yeah. Like, it was – I couldn't even – I couldn't get to the, like, page to log into the blog or, you know, my – the home page was gone. The Scramble Brains page was gone. Every page, like, within the database was, like, yeah, inaccessible. And I was like, oh, that's not – and then, yeah. like, I was trying to go – yeah, I don't know. Anyway, and, it was exciting. And tens of people were panicking. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody was. It was like 11.30 last oh, Thursday oh, night. Okay, so, okay. But uh, uh, along the, like, what I was doing is I was trying to, I was messing with YouTube stuff. I was trying to verify the site and all this crap. So, uh, and I, I only half know what I'm doing. I just kind of stumble through it. But, um, so I, I just wanted to put out a call to uh, any fans we might have. Uh, right now, our YouTube channel is at youtube.com slash nx 70651 the or whatever the randomly generated string of numbers how are they supposed characters. to get to that right exactly the only way that we can have a our you know a url that is like youtube slash scrambled brains cast is if we get a hundred subscribers so oh okay. really uh get on that guys all right but if you do look up scrambled brains it'll pop up Maybe you, you might be able to sift through the hundred thousand other hits you get <laughs> and find it. Uh, but if you go to yeah YouTube dot com slash Wordsco, uh, you can uh, you can get. Well, I mean, uh, now, it's you... it's a playlist. It's okay. linked through did you there. Get or just go uh, subscribers. No, you got Wordsco? I guess this is a new thing. Like since I created the word, the words I've had that for years and years. Mm -hmm. You know, grandfathered in. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so the, I guess this is a thing. I don't well, know. Why how don't we long. just tell them to go there? The words go. Yeah, or, and... or or go to the website and you can link over. I actually have links to the page now. And Scramble Brains, as of the two weeks ago, it was like I just put the show on the Words Co. page as a separate playlist. Mm -hmm. Now there is an actual separate Scramble Brains YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So go there, even if you've been checking us out at, at Words Co. 
week. Yeah, no, I'd be you know it's it's easier to do it through YouTube. It's and also at Orange Cove, there's short movies. There's yeah, yeah there's, there's a others. bunch of crap that I've made over the years. <laughs> so. And his that. confidence <laughs> overwhelms the audience. Yeah, there's like one thing on there I like. <laughs> oh, you guess. You you figure it out, guys. Uh, the drawings. Oh yeah. Okay. Two things. <laughs> okay. Woo. Say something else. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, three <laughs> rings. Yeah. Uh, but we are over an hour. If uh, anybody yeah. wants to. No, take I'm trying. I'm still trying to find this name. Star of Wars this, news. Um, this toy line. Oh. We'll look up horror. Toy. Well, I looked up hologram action figures of the '80s. Oh, or, or I'd say horror toy holograms or something. Computer warriors. I don't remember that. No, it wouldn't be. Um, there is a new uh, Karen Gillan uh, uh, horror short that she has, I think, written <laughs> and directed. I guess this is her second. Uh, Does she get foray she in a into directing and writing? Um, no, I don't think so. I haven't watched it all. I just started it. Got it interrupted earlier. Um, uh, it looks, yeah, it looks interesting. I guess it's. I often get interrupted while I'm watching Karen going in. I don't, that doesn't follow. Dick. I don't. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, the premise is she plays an actress whose, uh, lone claim to fame is as like a scream queen in a, like a cheesy slasher movie and apparently. Supernaturals. Is that what they're called? Supernaturals by Tonka. Huh. That is the name. All right, I want to check it out. All right, okay. well, yeah, let's. All right, real quick, let's go oh. ahead. It is trivia time. Oh yeah, See? yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that guy especially. Mm-hmm. Well, I... oh yeah. All right, what color is storm? Wait, we've already done that one. Tornado. Oh, and then here's air raiders. How is it? I've got hundreds of cards, and yeah, I keep picking the same yeah, one. Yeah, still doesn't look familiar. Hmm. Oh yeah, I had this guy. <laughs> We've lost him. Eagle Eye. All right, we'll do. go ahead and do our Spider-Man special here. Can Spider-Man's danger sense warn him when he's asleep? Yes. Spider-Man designed himself an insulated suit to fight what villain? Electro. Electro. How did Peter Parker's parents die? Um. Well, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Officially, it was a plane crash. Plane crash, crash but the Red that. Skull killed them because they were S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Before he oh, got yeah, his powers, shit. Peter Parker was afraid of what? Probably heights. I don't want spiders. <laughs> Flash Thompson? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that. Actually, <laughs> I think heights does sound right. That, that I almost bet it was right. heights. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was like, he was afraid of a lot of stuff. Okay. He was puny Parker. What yeah. comic featured a tombstone on the cover and the death of Spidey's Aunt May? What okay, what his? issue? Yeah, it was four four hundred. Yeah, I have it. So so do I. All right. Yes, it can. Uh, his danger. His oh, spider knew, okay. sense does work when he's asleep. He did create a because I remember that from the Electro. aliens with a costume, the alien costume. It was oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, his parents did die in a plane crash, according to this. Uh, he was scared of heights. Okay. So see, I knew something Matt did not know about Spider-Man. Yeah. Well, there's so right. many things Sp- <laughs> if he was afraid of before he got his spider powers. Cool and cancer. And then after he got after he got his spider powers, wheat cakes. He was like, wheat cakes. Yeah, was weird. <laughs> after he got his spider powers, he was all like, not afraid of nothing. He's like, what? Oh, you want to fucking shit. fight me now? And Amazing Spider-Man 400. 100, yeah. That was about dead center of the Clone Saga, was it? Oh, it's yeah. Been, in fact, the last seen panel of that thing. Was Ben Riley oh. Peter or Ben Riley's outside crying? Yeah, and and Peter and Mary Jane are next to Aunt May's May bedside when she dies. dies. That's yep. one of the many times that Aunt May has died. Okay, that wasn't the time that he had to annul it. Or uh, it turns out that no, was a really Aunt different May. Time. That was an actress paid by Norman Osborn. That is the to... second of the three times Aunt May has died. I think. <laughs> oh, she's died. Yeah, she's died a few. Let's see. One in the one eighties to one nineties range, she died. <laughs> but then that was they faked her death, and then in the four hundred, she died, and then right post Civil War, pre One More Day, she died during that Back in Black storyline because she got shot. Well, she didn't pin. die. No, but mm, she, she was would hooked have. up. She to, would have. Oh, she would have. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, just that old bat, and that old bat was dying every other issue back in during the Lee Ditko run. It was <laughs> that bitch had some heart problems, <laughs> did she? I mean, no. I mean, it's sort of like 
Oh, I walked up the stairs too much. <laughs> Call the doctor. Oh, oh, Peter. Or, she or needs it, heart medicine. Or was bed. it? Or was oh. it? She faints. Peter finds her. Goes, Aunt May died, and it's like next issue. Does Aunt May live? I mean, it was every other issue. Let's sleep on the couch, Peter. Jesus Christ. And then they're like, you know what? Peter needs a girlfriend, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And then Mary Jane Leave me the hell alone. All right. So is that a wrap we done? I guess we're done. All right. Okay, so. try to wrap this last part. All right, well, uh, send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. You can also go to... Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I can't wrap this. None of this yeah, rhymes. <laughs> Uh, you can also go to Facebook at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. You can like us there. That'd be great. You should do do that. that. Um, we're also on Tumblr at scramblebrainscast.tumblr.com and Twitter at scramblecast. I don't know how much those are updated because, uh, well, every week I put a post when I, uh, Oh, that's good. Every week. You see how much I follow it. You should follow it because I don't. So there's no like, or wait, I'm not going to (laughs) say. Okay. Uh, or you can go to our website, which is www.scramblebrainscast.com. You can get links to everything there. Or you can go everything. to iTubes. 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 iTunes. You can click, because I you was going to plug the YouTube as well. Ah, so really iTunes. Good. From the website, yes, You, you to clarify. Yes. You can link to iTunes. You can link to YouTube. You Tube. can link to Tumblr. You can link to Twitter. All, all the nice stuff's there. And if you wanted to go Tune give in. us a review on iTunes, subscribe there. Or you can go to YouTube and subscribe because apparently we need 100 to be official. Yeah, yep. to get uh, get a URL that you can find. So that makes no sense, but, no, but whatever. Uh, yeah, well, I think people were probably just like, you know, grabbing up YouTube names, you know. Well, thank God that they did that with the dot coms too. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, they didn't. Uh, yeah. Well, that's why they got dot TV and dot everything else. Dot net and dot yeah, uh, web and. I web. knew a guy that was trying to buy dot. What was it? Dot WS or something. It's kind of an interesting thing, the whole I can. Like he was gonna buy all dot WS. Yeah, he wanted to own the domain, like the or the. So anybody who suffix. had a WS website had to pay him money after that. Yeah, well, he so would nobody's sell gonna have a WS his, website. Well, yeah. yeah, he had a whole promotion thing. He was gonna. You, you know, that's to... that's pretty much how that'll work, right? I mean, well, I, you what know, you need Martin. to do is you need to sit on something like I wish I was the guy that came in in like 1996 and bought StarWars.com. dot com. Right, yeah. but that's only one sale. You know? I own I well just last week I got Transformers dot com donate me remember that off the clerks too oh <laughs> uh, yeah so I got the, uh, the 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 uh, username yeah, Optimus, Optimus Prime, Prime. Which which so in Prime demand. position for when the Transformer movie came. <laughs> man isn't it great that there was an ignorant time before those damn dumbass <laughs> Michael Bay movies existed yes uh, anyway but well, uh, I'd say uh, starting next step we're gonna bring back the road show. Are we going to do the road Are show? We do a road show? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Forget I mentioned anything. <laughs> Screw it. Road to, show suck. You're supposed okay. to go. Yes. Next episode, get ready and listen to all our our, all our thoughts from the road. Okay. Where yeah. we are completely unfiltered and unstructured. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, Not that rambles. we're very filtered or structured here. This episode goes up on Wednesday. If anybody listens to it and sends me a message, <laughs> oh, saying, want to hear the road, want us to do a road show by Friday, Friday morning. Wait, can, will it pick this up? Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 That's Matt me hitting is, my head uh, against deep the mic. throating the microphone. Oh. oh. All right. Goodbye, internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other. Why don't you? <laughs>